Hello, boxing fans. Here with El Chamaco, Abraham Lopez. Abraham, uh, well, obviously, you have this great fight coming up. Um, you're going to be the co-main event at the Velasco Theater in downtown Los Angeles on January 29th. Uh, but we were just talking just a few moments ago how great you have this career in boxing, but you also have another career outside of boxing, something that not a lot of fighters do or a lot of people know about you. Talk to me about, um, you're a, a respiratory, respiratory therapist, right? Yes, I'm um, a respiratory therapist. Uh, I uh, graduated, worked, and uh, now, uh, but... I mean, I want to give myself the opportunity to, to at least become world champion. And, uh, you know, if I did it, great. If I didn't, at least I tried and, you know, I have no regrets. But you've, you've graduated from college. You are tr you're in the process of getting your master's degree, right? Bachelor's, bachelor's. Oh, your bachelor's degree. But you will be getting your master's Yes, yes, of course. You know, I mean, I want to run a whole therapy department. So, uh, but, you know, it takes a, takes a while. So I'll be in school and then... Uh, once I'm done with boxing, I can focus fully on school and, you know, and respiratory therapy. What's the mentality behind, you know, a lot of, fight, a lot of uh, people and fighters believe that all boxers are, are, are millionaires. They're all Mayweathers. They're all, you know, uh, top there. You know, you could buy any car you want, any house. What's the mentality behind having uh, the boxing career and the medical career? Uh, having both careers, you know, I mean, it makes you realize, like, hey, how many Mayweathers can there be? You know, I mean, there's only just one. How many Deloitte's are there? Just one, you know, I mean, so I don't want to be in boxing full, you know I mean, when I'm 40 and not even making 50 grand a year, you know what I mean, I, I want to be making 70 to 80 grand or even more, you know, become a millionaire in boxing, so, uh, but if not, it's okay, you know what I mean, I got my career to fall back on. And how do you manage both of these careers? How do you fit in all the workouts? You were mentioning you do about five workouts a day. Yeah, yeah I work out five times a day. Uh, you know I mean, it's, uh, it's part of the sport, you know I mean, try to get the conditioning up, I know the science behind the uh, uh, this, this exercise is so um, I, I, I implement it to my workout so I mean uh, it, and it plays off I, you know I never get tired when I fight everybody says everybody asks me like hey you don't look tired I'm like no because I, I do different types of workouts than athletes do so you guys, you guys don't know, but he just finished working now about one minute ago, and he, he's not trying to catch his breath at all. I'm probably more tired than you are. I need to be at that condition level, seriously. Um, so, how do, so how do you put this condition, all your training, on uh, January 29th, you'll be the coming event. Um, how, what, what are we expecting that night? Oh, you're going to see an Abraham Lopez, uh, a strong, a smart, all around uh a multi-dimensional fighter, you know what I mean? If that guy is coming at me, then I'm going to box him. If that guy is running away from me, then I'm going to be the aggressor. So uh, whatever it takes to get that W. All right, Abraham, well, we can't wait for January 29th. We can't wait to see you in the ring. And, you know, good luck in the ring and outside the ring. Thank you so Thank much. You. Appreciate it. Thank you.